What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to convert a Python 3 script into a executable. So we're going to be using PyInstaller to do this. So you want to go ahead and do Python 3 pip install PyInstaller and that should go ahead and install the tool we're going to use to convert the scripts into executables. Alright, so I have this folder called pyred and inside of it i have a script that does recursive encryption and decryption i'll link a video above here with the tutorial for that script but what we're gonna do is convert it into a standalone executable so once you installed pi installer let's go ahead and do pi installer and we'll do hyphen hyphen help to display the options all right so let's go all the way to the top and there we go you can see we have a lot of options uh, the only required one being the script name now let's take a look at some of these options before going ahead and doing it ourselves so you can see we have the help the version options all standard uh, and then we have the one file option which we will be using to create a single executable with no other required files to them and let's see some other options so you can see we have a add binary option which is very interesting if you want to bundle up with another binary file so you could potentially merge your script with a different executable you have we can also bundle data to that. We have runtime hook. And then we have different options to generating different components of the executable. Now here we have some more interesting options. We can choose the console option or the windowed option. Now usually when you run a Python script you get a command prompt popping up. So let's say you have a networking program that you want to run in the background and you don't want necessarily a pop-up with that. This would be an interesting option to use. Or even if you have a program that has a GUI, a graphical interface, you might not want the command prompt popping up. and So you have two different windows popping up, right? so you would use this option over here and then we have Windows specific options and I'm guessing we're gonna oh nice so we have the user access control administrator prompt so if your program requires administrator privileges you can put this option and that would pop up with the prompt before running your application so we have Mac OS specific options. So very interesting, but let's go ahead and run PyInstaller to generate our standalone executable. So we're gonna do PyInstaller hyphen F, and this is the only option we're gonna be passing. And our script is pyred.py. So let's fire it up. All right, there we go. That was pretty fast. You can see building completed successfully. Now, let me pull up the folder. You can see previously we only had the PyRed script in here and it's gone ahead and generated these additional files, the specifications, and you will find your executable inside of the disk folder. And there it is. It's about seven megabytes. Now let's go ahead and run it to make sure that it's working. All right, and there we have it, Python recursive encryption decryption. And I will even go ahead and use it to test out its functionality. So here we are inside the distribution folder and let's just go ahead and encrypt this pyred specification file so we'll do encrypt password will be my password 
now file we're gonna choose this guy over here let's paste that name there we go success encrypted now if we check out the directory you can see the file is now encrypted the file size has increased by a little bit so let's just decrypt it so for the sake of testing it out so my password and let's paste that guy over here and there we go successfully decrypted so that was today's tutorial we make a lot of python scripts in this channel if you guys want to follow you are pretty sure you're going to see a bunch of python stuff in the future and now you know how to convert your python 3 scripts into executables see you guys next time